Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 51 of Darwell20's Let's Play of FTB Skies Expert. Hey, today we're going to continue down some more elemental path stuff so we can work towards some Batania stuff so we can have more mana so we can have more elemental craft. Get it? Got it? Good. All right, let's do it. So, uh, lots to do today. Uh, first off, the, the goal of what we're working towards is I'd like to be able to automate these shards a little bit better. Uh, and to do that, we're going to need to um, refine liquefied source, uh, which we have lots of, into liquid elements, which we can then uh, crystallize down into their raw crystal shard forms. Um, now, between episodes, I did do a little bit of automating of this stuff and made a whole bunch of uh, crystal shards, but we're still going to need more than we currently have. Because A, Elemental Craft has a bunch of cool stuff in it, and B, uh, we're just not producing nearly enough. Like, see, we're doing okay on air, but like water, we still need lots of water. Like, just lots of water. Like, lots of water is going to be needed here. Uh, because we use it a lot. And it's annoying for me to make, um, you know, drench steel and all that stuff. So... Yeah, we got to do the stuff. So let's do it up. So, uh, but we will also work on the Energer, Energizia, Ener, Energizia, or Zera, Energizera. This thing, uh, it makes it makes mana from uh, RF. Seems pretty OP, so we're going to make it. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. I don't know how much RF turns into how much mana, but considering we have a pretty good RF gen going on, and last episode we got Flux Networks happening, I thought it might be a good time to try that out. Cool. So let's get to work, shall we? Uh, so to get runes in this pack um, from Batania, we're going to need runes from Elemental Craft. The first rune I'm going to work towards is this guy. So we're going to need a Fire Charge, a Minor Rune Slate, a Fire Essence, and a Crude or Better Fire Gem. Now those are made by putting a diamond uh, into a uh, gem crystallizer and then uh, putting some Fire Shards on it, I think. Uh, or a Fire Crystal, I forget. I think Fire Crystal is what needs to go on top of there. So what we're going to want uh, is to make sure that we have a fire crystal, which should be easy peasy. And then we get our gem crystallizer and we plop a diamond and a fire crystal in there. And now there's a chance that that will get me ooh, a pristine fire gem. Well then, ha, that was good luck on my part. Uh, it, can, it can make any type of gem uh and we got lucky with a really good one so let's do that for air now right so for air it's gonna be same deal u plus an air shard and then poof we got a crude one so that's not quite as good right crude fire gems that's the worst kind but that's okay still lots of cool stuff we can do with it um and then from there right we can do this and we can do this so let's start with fire like i said so first we're gonna need a fire charge and a fire this dude, and then we're gonna need a blank rune. Minor rune slate, which is, by the way, I assume pretty easy to make. Yeah, not terrible. Some drenched steel, but at this stage, not terrible. Um, does it matter what order we put them in? That I don't actually know either. Uh, I guess we'll find out. So for this, I assume it's gonna have to sit on our buddy fire, right? Um, and then, so to make the Manx rune, it's Fire gem of any any kind, slate, essence with charge in the middle. Nope, not you. You, 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 you. And then what, like hit it with this kind of deal? I mean, he's taking durability damage. Hey, there we go. Cool. You have to whack it a few times. Not terrible. Okay. Uh, and then I wanted air, uh, which is feather, air essence, and air gem. Feather. You can probably go away. So air essence. And then whack you a few times. Is that wrong? Did I do it wrong? Crude, minor rune, air essence, and then feather. Ah, we're not on top of fire. We need to be on top of air. My bad. So I did do it wrong. So you, 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 and then you. Hey, there we go. Nice. Okay, cool. That wasn't so bad. Not bad at all. 
And then we can bring that over here to make these guys, right? Uh, so if I want now, uh, so we're gonna need some mana steel, which did I make extra mana steel last time? I did. Good job, past dire. We're also gonna want some mana powder, uh, which we can get from redstone, am I correct? Gunpowder, redstone, sugar. Well, I guess sugar, right? That's something we have a, well, I wouldn't know about a copious amount, but cool. So you and you, and then we'll do the Wii rune, which is going to need air essence. Okay, and then you're making your air rune. And then we just need you and you. Sweet, rune of air. Cool, well that wasn't so bad. And then you're gonna need fire essence. And fire rune, and you and you. Cool. Okay. Not so bad. So far, so good. I'm gonna put you guys away for the time being. Cool. Okay. So now I need to make this guy, right? The rune of energy, which is going to be. Fire, air, two redstone, and two mana diamonds. Hey, I said two mana diamonds. Not 20. Redstone, you and you. And if you work like other runes, I should get those two runes back. I guess we'll see. Sweet, I do. Nice. Root of energy. Cool. Uh, and then three red and a green, right? So red um, times three and a green mystical flower. I should probably grow more of these. So let's bone meal. And one of those. And boy, look at you on all your fish. Okay, everybody go away. You two, you two, you two. Why do I have a pure daisy in here? I don't have an answer for that question. Other than the fact that I just happen to have a pure daisy in there. Cool. And then seeds. And we've got a very broken looking flower. I hope it's broken. I hope it's broken. Guess we're gonna find out, right? Uh, so now what I wouldn't mind is having a cube of some kind. If we got like a tier one energy cube, that seems doable. Platinum plates, platinum plates, probably doable. Probably doable, All right? One, two. Do we have any extra platinum laying around? Nope. Now, platinum plates come from the regular old stamping process. Platinum, reminder, is um, Isnium ingots. And Isnium ingots, remember, are what now? The whole thing. It's a whole thing. What am I forgetting how this works? There it is. Liquid force in the fabrication matrix with 16 silver. So we should have some. Oh, that's right, we cooked all our silver, didn't we? Um, what I could do, I think all my silver is living in here right now. Yep. Cool. Do we have no extra silver? No, but what we could do is get some gravel. Okay. Never hurts. Okay, and that'll get me some silver at least. Um, and then we need liquid force, which I obviously have tons of right over there. Okay, so everything gets put away. 
everything gets put away. And how much silver do we wind up with from that? 34 silver. So it's like three stacks. Definitely worth doing it that way, right? That'll be cool. So what I think I'll start with is let's just get like one stack of silver dust. Uh, and then we're just going to need like a bucket or two of liquid four, so that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, now do you already have some liquid force in you? Probably not, but that's okay. I have buckets available. I do. One, two, three, four, right? And then you should be fabrication matrixing and making Eisenium dust. Nice. Okay, and then that Eisenium dust turns into platinum. Right? Uh, platinum, 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 platinum. I just forget the production chain here. Is it this guy or do I do the Isium ingot first? And then that, yeah, so ingot it first, which is done via smelting, just regular old smelting process. Regular old smelting process. And then we diamond it. Okay. And that shouldn't be too bad. And then the first one will do the thing. And then the other two will, or the other three will have extras, right? Okay. So you go in here. Now you're a basic energy cube. Okay. Now I should be able to, um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna remove you for a minute. Okay, you live over on this side for now. And then what I'm going to do is I want to get a flux point that'll come over here, be on the dial point network, and fill up. Okay, now you guys are done, so our platinum can go away for a future use. Okay, you've got a million energy in you, right? So this is this is me testing how this works. Okay, so for 1.6 million RF, how much mana do I get? We're currently at 34,080, right? So 34,080, okay? And we're going to do 1.6 million RF. How fast and how much is the question. Not what I would call fast, per se. Are there any tricks to this guy, by the way? Now, it said if I bone meal him, he'll be twice as fast. So I want to try that a little bit. And we could probably also do that, um, that overgrowth seed. Are there recipes for this? Ooh, there are. But it requires Gaia shards. But we can make these in this pack, which is kind of cool. They also show up as dungeon loot. So that might be another approach. But it says bone mealable, doesn't it? Can be doubled with bone meal. The doubling probability, and that's from Botanic Additions. Can be doubled with bone meal. Botanic Additions. No. Uh, I don't know how that works then. Okay. But the energy is here. Through careful energy channeling, this flower creates mana from forge energy. Energy nearby goes We'll feed the flower with energy. So, a little bit slow. He's building up, right? Definitely slow. Question. Same mana lost each tick. Okay. No worries. Okay. Uh, so I could make another one, right? All I would need is another fire. And because we don't use these up, we can really make as many as we want. Uh, all it's really costing us is two redstone and two diamonds, right? Now, in fairness, I'm burning a bunch of mana to do that, so that's 
gonna be a little bit of a, I guess it is what it is, but. What I should do is I should stop you for a sec. Okay, and then um, it's three reds and a green again, right? So red, 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 green, and seed. They're not bad to get. Okay, let's refill this guy so we can recheck our calculation, right? Now you're back to full. Um, and our numbers are now 1280. Okay, so it's really slow, is what I'm hearing. It's slow, but it's a trickle. So I guess what I'll do is, um, I really wanna know what this bone meal trick is. I'll look into that. Um, let's come back in a sec and we'll uh, we'll see what happens when it's done, right? So we know the numbers, we'll figure it all out and we'll decide if this is worth doing or not. It's very slow, but maybe there's a, maybe there's a better way. All right, we're back and we're empty and I have three. So the number I started with was 23,680 and we ended up with 183,680. Okay, so we got 160,000. So that's easy math. 1.6 million RF turned into 160,000 mana. So it's a 10 to one RF to mana translation. That's not terrible, right? Um, so what I'm thinking is we make a few more energies and then we, uh, we just kind of like, have like six of them running at a time. And as long as it's passive, like, and it will be because passive, I think that that's perfectly fine. Um, now just for comparison's sake, let's throw down a piece of cake and see how much mana we get from the cake. So 183, 680. And then you do your cake thing. Do, 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 do. So like 13,000-ish, right? Not a nice even number, but close. So, you know, obviously cake and lava would be a lot faster, but here's what I'm thinking, right? We break these guys down, okay? I'm gonna remove you for a sec. You can instead go here, okay? And then we would have um, cake um, and thermolily can sit like that. Okay, um, so I can still do, for example, a bucket of lava, no problem. He'll make a whole bunch of mana on demand, but then these guys could all line like this. And then we just get, um, you know, I'm probably just gonna wind up moving my pure daisies back a little bit. What I could do is wand Still don't know what this bone meal doubling thing does. Fair. Okay, and then we could, uh... Give ourselves a little bit more room so you could live there and then we could have like I don't know like how close these guys need to be so what if I put them back here do you reach looks like it so that's cool right and then you guys start just filling up and I make like three more of these shouldn't be a problem because all I need to do to get more of these is fire uh, or, or, yeah, fire rune, air rune, 
diamonds. So if I want, I'm going to need six more diamonds. Okay. And then six more redstone. And then I would need uh, some red, which we probably want to get a few more mystical red powders. So I still don't know what the bone meal doubling thing is. I'm going to go see if I can figure that out real quick. Cool, because that, that I don't understand. Okay, that's cool. And then green. So I need six of these, and I need 18 of those. Is that right? Yes. All right, I found out. There is a different mod that allows for doubling any kind of normal flower, uh, but... Because of a bug in the mod, it's reporting it for all flowers. So, that's not true. That's not true. You can't bone meal double nothing. I thought it would, like, double the speed or something. I, I don't know. I thought it was some kind of, like, add-on feature that... Yeah. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Has nothing to do with nothing. Uh, just a bug. So, ignore that. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Okay. Uh, and then we're gonna need seeds. And we're doing... Three more, not six more. Six total. So then you are done. And we're going to need our water. You remember after this long? No. One, two, three. One. And I think I put my wrong rune away. One. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. And then that should be pretty good. Like that's going to be a pretty consistent bit of mana. Now again, not super fast, but passive. So we just kind of like sit here and it's like a little bit of mana or a little bit of RF here and there just to fill her up. And like, we're good, right? I think I think that's pretty cool. So we should come back and find a lot of mana here. Now, like I said, not going to be a huge amount. That's okay. That's not what we're after. We're after a slow trickle. And that's what that accomplishes. So I'm on board with that. Cool? All right. All right. So after all this time, everything over here is working exactly the way I'd want it to. Look at this. Beautiful, right? Uh, and just not for nothing, by the way, we totally have access to make more of this stuff now. So that's cool, right? All we need to do is get into a little bit more Signalum, which eh, it's not bad. I can make Signalum now. That's not a huge inconvenience. Just Electrum Blend and Mana Infused Copper. And again, we just made Mana a little bit easier to get. Um, just letting it idle for a li little bit over there. And uh, we're already up to two and a half of a Mana Pool. So like, yeah, we're a quarter of the way full on this dude, which is not bad at all. Yeah, perfect. That's cool. All right, good to know. Um, and eventually we'll have like more mana pools for larger buffers. But I think like the slow trickle versus like the occasional on demand, that's going to be good. Like that's that's going to be cool. Um, and obviously, like I said, we can still, there's nothing stopping us from continuing to do this, right? Um, so you can still come over here and be like, hey, I'm making lots of mana. I don't know what the radius of this thing is, but, you know, it'll still be burstable, right? And the same deal um, with, with lava. Cool. So definitely, I like, I like the slow trickle idea. Uh, meanwhile, I started working on more ethanol uh, and molten silver so I can make acetyl hydri, acetyl dehyde, acetyl, uh, that stuff. Uh, because I want to make advanced control circuits. So I need um, uh, Signalum processors are made like this. So it's going to be printed silicon, Signalum, and two basic control circuits, which as a reminder is logic circuits with mineral resin, right? So logic circuits, uh, we've got some of. Um, do we have any more of the green circuits? We do. We do. We're cool. Um, so realistically, a bucket of this would be enough in the fluid encapsulator 
to knock out four more of these dudes. I'm cool with that. Get more into using the tick accelerator, because I can. Booyah. Definitely going to want to automate that at some point, though. So you're almost done now, I believe. Yep. Which means you can take this. Do this. There you go. Full 16. Looking good. And then you uh, just need a little bit of this i'll use the biofuel for this because there's no reason to use something better um and then once he hits the appropriate temperature he'll start converting to more redstone so that i can get more of uh not redstone acid but uh you know i'm gonna reverse these because i feel like acid is the less frequently used one like destabilized redstone i feel like we need for a lot of stuff am i right about that right destabilized redstone is used for like all these things and then if we look at redstone acid it's used to make etching acid and etching acid i guess we could also make it rock softening acid yeah redstone acid not useful this stuff very useful okay um so then we want to get that so signalum processor is what i'm after so we want signalum ingots and we have we should have plenty of printed silicon because we made like a ton of that uh, how am I for Signalum? We don't really have much, so we should probably go and get more Signalum dust. Shouldn't be too hard to get, but we will need some more Electrum dust. And there won't be like an easy peasy way to get that, I don't think. Electrum blend really is only crushed from, like I can't combine silver and gold dust, right? So we just have to let him crush his stuff and then make it. Getting extra from you? Nope, it's one to one. That makes sense. Okay, so you did there. That should be cool. And I'll snag some more copper because I suspect we're going to need more mana infused copper. More mana infused copper. Sweet. Yeah, look, we're already at 330. So, like, we're doing fine. Glad I made this dude, by the way. So much faster. So then you, you can go away, you do that, you go away for now, and that's cool. Okay, and then you guys should be fine managing that, right? And then we'll get, look at that, beautiful. You know, he's draining lots of RF to manage that, but like, I'm okay. That is cool. All right, so let's make our first Signalum processor. So three printed silicon and six control circuits. And then three of you. You go away, you go away, and that's cool for now. Cool, Signalum processor. I don't know if that was like a quest, uh, now, what can I do with this? This only turns into advanced control circuits, right? Um, in reality, I should probably do one more of these. Yes, I'm going to say that I should. So one more, just so I can do an even bucket's worth. Wouldn't be a bad idea. And then we can come over here and we can just get a bucket of redstone acid into our fluid encapsulator. And that'll get me four of fluid encapsulator, volatile redstone. Oh, not destabilized redstone. Volatile redstone. That would be you, sir. Cool. And again, just a little bit faster, please. And that should be a quest complete. Hooray! 
Um, which, by the way, obviously that's going to unlock a bunch of cool mechanism toys and gadgets, like all the all the cool mechanism-y things. That'll also get me advanced diesel generators, by the way. So they basically, like, burn, um, burn your fuels twice as fast. So if we look at, like, force-infused diesel... Uh, actually, let's look at, like, liquid oxygen, right? Tier 1 flux-infused diesel would be 190 stress. Tier 2 flux-infused diesel would be... 1524 stress holy cow uh but it uses eight millibuckets per tick rather than one millibucket per tick so it's basically like eight times faster right so like force infused diesel on this guy which is our current tier is like 126 with this dude he's producing um a thousand yeah so like eight times the shenanigans i like it I don't know if we'll ever need that much. Like, that seems like a lot of stress. Doesn't that seem like a lot of stress? Seems like a lot of stress. Um, in fairness, I guess, um, what, what, what we could do is we could, like, move those guys over to there and combine them with those guys and, like, everything's all in one giant. But I don't know that I want to do that. I kind of like having them separate and automatically turning off when we don't need them anymore. Like, that's been working really well for me. This whole thing has been, like, huge. So I don't want to, like, not do this. Right? This has been really useful in terms of conserving fuel. Okay. So now that that's done, next step would be elite control circuits. Um, and that's what needs ether gas. And those would be used for um, all kinds of other stuff, apparently. So I'm not sure if I need them. for Because like this line doesn't come from this line. So quantum assembler is going to be the next major thing we need to make. Um, so this is what's up. And we get two of these per craft? Okay, uh, I'm guessing quantum assembler needs this. So quantum rings, compact machine walls, space chambers, entangled blocks, fluid stairs, vibrant quartz glass, and ME quantum link chamber. Whew. That's uh, that's some stuff. Sure is. But that'll let me make a bunch of things. Uh, it looks like. Well, that's cool. With liquefied source, I could turn emeralds into diamonds and get cognition out of them. That's kind of cool. That's kind of neat. Uh, it'll let me make electric motors, which is normally a uh, like a, the the thing. So that's kind of cool. Makes diesel motors. So it looks like it's a comp. It makes a lot of things actually. That'll make making fluix crystals way easier um, with a little destabilized redstone. That's cool. So basically, all the things that you would normally make over here with this can be made in the quantum assembler, and that's like the next thing we're supposed to make, right? That's cool. Uh, what else we get? Fusion reactor frames, Ostrom space plating once we get to Ostrom. Or no, that's actually going to use, that's going to use Dash, right? Okay, and that's that's how we're going to be gated going to Mars. I think we have to make this in order to go to Mars, okay? Uh, Dash space plating. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Maybe we need to make this to go to Mars? Either way, we'll figure it out. Quantum bridge card, that's cool. Oh, look at that. Logic circuits to empty PCBs. That's neat. Oh, what are you? Perfected gem catalyst. And you get 64 of those? Interesting. That's cool. Pocket dimension remote. Only works in the overall. Right click to bind coordinates. Right click to, 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 to do not bind two of the, to the same block or it will override the original from create teleporters. Cool. Uh, netherite magnets. We get those. That's like the tier five because fluctuated magnets comes first. Um, a little bit easier process to make ender chests. Not going to complain about that. That's how we get end portal frames, quantum casings from create teleporters, entity teleporter, fission reactor stuff. Uh, we can get liquefied source turning into quantum fluid with this. Better machine frames is uh, going to be a thing. Steel casings. That's a, that's a manual craft. Why would I do that in there? I don't know. Ender tanks uh, happen in this way. Circuit backplanes. That's automatable in this. That's cool. All right, look at all this cool stuff that we're going to be able to make. Yeah, we can make these guys in here too. It's going to be cool. Sweet. All right, let's, uh, oh, is this a, no, it's the same recipe for the dielectric casing. Some of these I don't see the point of doing in here. What I would, what I would say is like maybe some of them it would be cool is if you got like double outputs, um, like making them by hand versus double, like that would be a cool encouragement to be like hey you made this now you can get like just a few of these recipes would be nice to double in the quantum assembler just thinking outside the box 
All right, let's do this. Let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time and we'll start working towards the quantum assembler. I'm going to make anything I can off camera. So anything that I can make off camera, I will make off camera that you haven't seen me make before. Now, in fairness, there's absolutely like a big multi-block structure. A lot of this stuff may be things that I need to make. I think like half of this stuff we've never made before. So like we'll do some of it on camera and some of it off. Deal? All right. For now, Dalton, I sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.